Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 16-inch Lenovo Legion Pro 5i Gen 9. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Then, pry the panel with a thin plastic tool starting from the central zone of the back. After that, work your way around the sides and the front. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. Here we have an 80 watt hour battery. To take it out, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the five Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. One of the screws is hidden below the metal SSD cover on the left, so we have to remove it as well. The capacity is enough for 12 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing or 5 hours and 53 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the Dynamic Graphics mode in the BIOS and the Optimus Display mode in the NVIDIA Control Panel in order to use the iGPU. Then, select the Balance preset, turn on the Adaptive Refresh Rate function, and select the iGPU-only mode in the Lenovo Vantage app. Last but not least, Apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. In terms of storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2242 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. Both of them are protected by metal shrouds that are held in place by three Phillips head screws for each metal plate. The two metal pieces have a thermal pad on the inside. The RAM area is covered by a metal plate, and you have to pop it with a lever tool to access the slots. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs fit up to 32GB DDR5 5600MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192GB, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running an even bigger amount of memory than the official manufacturer value. As you can see, the cooling looks seriously big. It has two large fans, one thick heat pipe shared between the CPU and the GPU, one more for the processor, and two solely dedicated to the video card and its memory and voltage regulators. 
We can also see four heat sinks and two huge metal plates. The one on the left is also for cooling the chipset, which is a nice touch.